During this seminar, we will provide a refresher of the AML money laundering regime, an overview of the relevant AML obligations as part of an operator's license, some practical tips for a risk-based approach to AML for those in the regulated and unregulated sectors, including the importance of business-wide business, business and customer-specific risk assessments, policies and procedures, and thorough due diligence. This will incorporate some lessons learned from the Gambling Commission's most recent enforcement action. And then we'll conclude with recent and future developments. So the additional offences are failing to disclose suspected money laundering, which is essentially failing to make a SAR. The elements of this, this offence are that a person knows or suspects or has reasonable grounds to know or suspect that a person is engaged in money laundering, that the information came to him or her in the course of regulated business, the information about the suspected money launderer or laundered property is specific and they fail to make the required disclosure to the NCA or the MLRO. The eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that Entain's fine, like Spreadex Limited, was in fact a payment in lieu of a financial penalty following the reaching of a settlement. The advantage for the Commission in agreeing a payment in lieu is that they retain more control. When a financial penalty is paid under Section 121 of the Gambling Act and after a review, then this money goes entirely to the Consolidated Fund, which is basically the government's main bank account. A payment in lieu, however, allows the Gambling Commission to approve the destination of money and it may apply it for charitable or socially responsible purposes. <laughs>